Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome to the Dr. C channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. And a couple of weeks I showed you uh, this ESD T T6 Lite LiPo charger. Very nice charger, especially the user interface and it's nice and compact, nice and small, easy to uh, take with you. However, you can't charge any kind of battery with uh, a charger like this. So I ordered me another ESDT charger and as you can see a completely different kind of charger. These are for small batteries uh, which you uh, use in your transmitter for instance or household appliances. We'll have a look in this video uh, at this here charger. It is called the ESDT C4. C4, hmm, that sounds dangerous by the way. <laughs> yeah, okay, so uh, let's have a look what's in this box. This is what came out of that box, the charger itself, we'll have a closer look at that in a minute of course, and a power adapter. Uh, good to know, well for me it's good, for uh, other people it might not be so good. It has a European adapter. So yeah, if you order this charger in another part of the world you might want to add a note to your order asking for an adapter for that. Of course this works out well for me, I was glad to see it, uh, the specs didn't say, so uh, yeah, I was glad to have an European adapter. It also came with a couple of stickers, decals, very nice, I always like that. It came with a screen protector for your charger, I won't be taking this one out to the field, so uh, on the other hand it is a touch screen, so yeah, might be nice to uh, protect that screen. And it also comes with a manual, a pretty substantial manual actually for a relatively simple charger like this. Now I have had other battery chargers such as this one, AA's and uh, AAA's, but this one is uh, very unintelligent. Sometimes it shows a red light and uh, yeah, uh, what's actually wrong with the battery? You never know and you just toss them out, you can't repair them or save them. With this charger you can do a whole lot more than just charging. Okay, the C4 charger itself. This uh, charger can charge double A's, triple A's, I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. And it can charge larger packs, lithium ion packs. Some RC cars, some entry RC cars actually come with uh, packs like that. The, the AAs will slot in uh, like so, four of them. You can uh, also um, have uh, two triple A's in them and two, they'll mount horizontally, of those bigger packs. Simultaneously, by the way, you can charge, for instance, two double A's and a triple A at the same time, even of uh, different chemistries. The charger will figure that out on its own. Okay, and nice and big screen, we'll have a look uh, at what it shows in a second. And it has three buttons over here. Those will be very hard to see for you, they're uh, dark grayish, but I'll show you what they do in a second. At the bottom of the charger are a couple of rubber feet and an air intake because the charger also has a fan over here, a cooling fan. Here is the power input for that adapter I showed you and a f uh, an USB output. Actually uh, a standard USB output and a micro USB output, that's nice. Huh. So uh, you can uh, charge uh, your phone uh, for instance uh, from this charger. Ok, let's hook it up and let's see what it does. Alrighty, hooking it up. C4 smart charger. Ok, so uh, this is what it says uh, with no batteries in it. Let's put a couple of batteries in our charger. Hachigadei, so 
our charger has recognized four batteries and its um, default operation is that it uh, will charge these batteries. Over here it says charging and it has recognized uh, these as NIM batteries, is that correct? Yes, these are indeed NIM batteries. So it'll automatically detect the kind of battery and it'll show you the status. This, uh, this middle one has completed charging apparently, so it's not doing anything to this one. And with these uh, buttons over here you can cycle through the four batteries that I have in it. Okay, and uh, here is our uh, capacity added. So it has now added uh, 18 milliamp hours, 19. Charging time it shows you over here. This is the battery's voltage and amperage. And over here you see the battery's internal resistance and its temperature, room temperature. Okay, and if you don't use the buttons it'll cycle through the, the charging batteries. Okay, one other thing I should show you is that it detects that you've put the battery in the right way. See? It won't uh, accidentally uh, discharge or whatever that way, so that's all good. There we go, now it's uh, having a, a second look at that battery. Now what I also want to show you is charging of different kinds of batteries at the same time. I'll add an, uh, a triple A. There we go. And what kind of battery is that? I actually don't even know. Okay, this is uh, also a NIM and I actually did charge this a couple of days ago. But uh, yeah, this is uh, also a NIM battery. So this is nice, this is uh, very convenient. My uh, previous charger uh, couldn't even charge less than uh, two batteries at the same time. With this one you can simply uh, charge uh, one battery at a time or uh, two different types. Very very convenient. Now obviously you can't charge AAs or triple A's together with a larger pack because those will be mounted horizontally. But still this is uh, very convenient to me. And you also see this graph which represents the, uh, the voltage of the battery over time. Yeah, um, you can quickly and easily see uh, the health of your batteries this, this way as well. It also charges pretty quickly, uh, quite a bit more quickly than my, uh, my old uh, charger. The batteries don't get as warm either, I don't know how it does that, but uh, apparently it charges uh, smarter. <laughs> yeah, and... Um, yeah, very nice to have all this information. Now, what it can also do, it can't just charge. If I hold on to the middle button, I get this menu. And in this menu I can actually select the kind of battery. In case it uh, didn't detect the kind of battery uh, well on its own. I can't only charge, but I can also discharge, storage, cycle, analysis and activation. So I haven't actually tried that. I don't have broken batteries at the moment, but I'd say that with activation maybe you can try to revitalize a dead battery. So that's nice. You can set the current, let's see, okay, so the default it's at uh, 0 0.5 amp, but you can go to a maximum of 1 amp of charging. Now, I'd stay at 5 amp, but maybe if you uh, run them bigger packs, that might uh, do well on uh, 1 amp. And uh, over here you can say start whichever choices you make, it'll start that job. Quite nice and uh, pretty simple to operate as well. So yeah, 
I'm again pretty happy with this uh, purchase. Another nice ESDT charger. It's uh, by the way available in black as I have it here and in white. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, obviously there's a link in the description to this charger if you want to check it out. I'm uh, personally quite happy with this uh, this battery charger works like a charm. And again, if you order it in any other part of the world, you might want to add a note to your order stating that you want a adapter for the power brick. So, yeah, that's my uh, look at this ESDT C4 charger. Quite a nifty charger if you ask me. If you are left with questions, hit me up a comment down below. Catch you on the next video. Bye bye.